I made a promise a long time ago on the few videos that I made regarding XRP that if the price section of XRP changed, I would make a video, talk about it, and analyze the crypto asset depending on what triggered the change. So in my previous videos, I clearly indicated that I did not want to own. I own a while back a position in XRP, got rid of it, happy about that. I had my reasons then, I still have those reasons now, but we'll cover what's going on right now with XRP. And I'll tell you also at the end of the video if I plan to open a position or not in XRP based on the new price action, the new environment for crypto, now that we have a crypto president, if you like, in the US. So let's start. This is the four hour chart for XRP. XRP has been trading in this range below 75 cents for a very, very, very long time. So it was practically doing nothing for years and years. And there were clear reasons for that. I'll list them later on. But we broke out of the 75 cent level. Very impressive. You have a lot of volume. There's a lot of trading going on. Obviously, it's not only XRP. That applies also to Cardano. I'll probably make a video out of Cardano also. But I promised the XRP army that I would do a video if things change. So we broke the 75 cent level. Very important resistance level for a long period of time. And now we're trading almost at $1. So we're going to face a resistance at $1 most probably, but the recent performance since the 6th of November has been very, very positive for XRP. And there's a few reasons for that. First of all, the election of a pro-crypto president, potentially because there's going to be less regulation, more loose rules applied to crypto, and that would provide XRP the flexibility that it needs to grow. But there's also, and just recently in the last few days, the inclusion of XRP in Robinhood. And that has triggered a lot of trading, a lot of buying of XRP by users of the platform. So that has triggered this spike in buying by those users mainly. Why? Because the actual technical characteristics of XRP have not changed. Only that has changed. And the regulatory environment that we are potentially going to start seeing in January of 2025 when the president in the United States takes office. So are traders of XRP front-running that situation? Could be. But let's see what XRP looks like on longer time frames. So this is the four hour chart, like you indicated, we're gonna go to the daily and we'll close with the weekly. So this was what I, has, what I was talking about earlier about a trading range for XRP. The coin was doing absolutely nothing for a very long time. That's why I got out. And it was trading while Bitcoin was moving up, Solana was moving up, a lot of altcoins were moving up and XRP was stuck in this range. So first there was the uh, lawsuit, the SEC, that blocked pretty much everything. After that, the SEC closed that investigation and I made a video indicating, well, now XRP does not have any excuses and the coin still got stuck in the same range, did not move. So once that got off the back of XRP, well, it confirmed the fact that the coin wasn't moving. But now, this change in the regulatory future environment for XRP seems to have changed things, plus the Robinhood listing. So here's my thesis on that. Well, before we do that, we'll go to the weekly chart and see the whole picture. So this is what the XRP chart since 2019, or maybe even a little before that, looks like. If you invested in 
2019, 2020, you made a little bit of money, but you went through a roller coaster of the last bull run, and after that, crickets, nothing, for a really long time. Like I indicated, you had a lawsuit, but one of the main things that puts me away from XRP is the issuance of token. It's a constant dilution of coins for all the investors, and that has not changed. So now we're broken out of the 75 cent level. We may come down to 75, and if we push back, then it's going to be very, very bullish for XRP, chart-wise. But like I indicated, the characteristics of XRP have not changed. The other thing that I don't like is that we are far, far away from the all-time high for XRP. And many altcoins are closer to their all-time high. Are we going to get to the all-time high? Are we going beyond the all-time high with XRP? I still don't know. And the dumping of coins, the dilution of each investor with constant coins getting into the market tells me that it's going to take a lot, a lot of money in order to be able to just get back to the all-time high and maybe go over it. This characteristic of the coin is not present in many other coins. It's not present for Bitcoin. It's not present for Solana. Solana has an inflation rate below 5%, I believe. It's present a little bit for SUI, which is a younger project that hopefully in the future they can fix that or lower that issuance of coins. But in the case of SUI, it will do the same thing as it, for XRP. It will slow down the progress of the growth in price for that project. Tokenomics is critical. XRP also is linked to CBDCs. I do not want to get involved in CBDCs. Any coin, that's my own decision. You can do whatever you want. Any coin that will be associated with CBDCs, I will get out. I will not get involved because CBDCs is like fiat, but electronically, that's the first bad thing about it. It can be inflated to the wazoo. So it can be inflated at any level of whatever project it's going to be as associated with. That's one of the things I don't like, but the one thing that I really don't like about CBDCs and projects that will be associated with them is the fact that they can survey everything that you do. They can track everything. It's even worse than fiat. Fiat, at least, if you have cash on your hands and you buy things with cash, nobody knows what you're buying. But if you have a US dollar or a Canadian dollar in a form of a CBDC and you buy something with it electronically, it will be tracked. And that I'm totally against. So if XRP decides to be in that world, I'm never going to be an investor. Even if it goes to a thousand bucks a coin, I don't care. I will invest in something that I believe in. And that's even worse than investing or putting my money in cash. Obviously, I try to avoid keeping cash due to the debasement that we're facing, but at least I'm not tracked. I'm tracked electronically with credit cards and things like that, but with cash, I have complete liberty. With CBDCs, I would have nothing. So that's one of the reasons that I would not touch XRP. The one thing, however, that you need to be aware now is that recently Robinhood relisted XRP. But why did it remove the XRP in the first place? First, you have a platform that has the power to add and replace whatever asset is available on that platform. Therefore, if you invest in a coin and you have it in Robinhood, if they decide to delist it, you have to sell. Even if you like the coin or not, or you have to actually remove it from uh, the application, but at one point with Robinhood, you actually had to sell because you couldn't transfer it to any other platform. 
I think now you can, so it's a little better. But they decided to remove the coin because they were scared about the regulatory risk of having XRP on the platform. So they took it out. Not now, because they see potentially a better regulatory environment, they put it back in. So are they going to remove it if something changes again? That yo-yo of a platform, I don't like. But that's my personal opinion. So new investors in crypto, when they start investing, invest in two things mainly. The first one I said that many times, in meme coins. The second thing that they invest in is in coins that are heavily promoted, heavily talked about on YouTube, TikTok, and all the different platforms. And those first investors do not research the characteristics of the coins. So they jump on the first coins they hear. And the ones that are heavily promoted are the beneficiaries of that. So like I said, the characteristics of XRP have not changed. Now you have a listing on Robinhood of people who now have access to buy it. I don't know if they have uh, meme coins that you can buy on Robinhood, but if they cannot buy meme coins, they're going to buy the next thing that they have access to. And they're gonna buy XRP. They're gonna buy Bitcoin because Bitcoin is too expensive or it's already close to $100,000. So they want to have a lot of coins and they buy a coin that is less than a dollar. I have not encountered critical analytical investors within the crypto community that have said XRP is a good project to invest in. It has not happened yet. And will probably never happen because the characteristics of the coin are not that great. So I want to make myself clear. Yes, we have price action on XRP, but the characteristics of XRP are not good, are not great. And yes, we have a price action here, but I believe that most of the buyers here are new crypto investors, not pros. And yes, the XRP army is there, but we have an army for Cardano, we have an army for Ethereum, we have an army for Solana, we have an army for Doge. Everyone has its own army, but the, character but the characteristics of each coin are different. So I congratulate the XRP investors, those who have waited a really long time for the recent pri price movement. But I would be surprised if we ever get to the all-time high because of the dilution of the coin. It's gonna take a lot, a lot of money to get to that level. And to go beyond the all-time high and have a 2x, 3x, 4x, 5x above, for me, it's practically impossible for XRP with its characteristics. I will make another video if we get to all-time highs. Congratulate the XRP army. And I will evaluate if something has changed in the coin. But you have to look at it in perspective of the performance of other assets. And I'd rather be in a fast horse that has good characteristics, good tokenomics, and a nice community than XRP at this stage with its own characteristics. In investing, you always have a choice. Warren Buffett said, it's not like playing baseball. When you play baseball, you have to swing eventually at a pitch, even if it's a bad one. In investing, you can look at thousands of companies, thousands of tokens, thousands of crypto assets, and you decide if you invest or not. But investing through sentiment or through a platform is not sufficient enough for me. It has to have way more than that. So I'm warning people, if they invest in XRP, look into the characteristics of the coins, look at what experts say about it, build your own critic analysis of XRP and decide if you want to invest or not. I have done it. I have done it 
periodically for all the assets that I invest in. And some get better, some stay the same, and some stay go worse, and some improve a lot over time. So I'm not married to one specific asset. I'm always evolving my analysis and act accordingly. If for whatever reason, let's say now I have a big conviction in Bitcoin and Solana. If for whatever reason something happens to Bitcoin or something happens to Solana and SUI is the one that is going to take over the world, I'll dump Bitcoin. I'll dump Solana and I'm going to move to SUI. I'm not married to any of them. No investor should. You need to be critique of every single asset you invest in, especially if there are major changes that will be applied to your asset. And you have to react accordingly. You cannot sleep on an asset and say, okay, it's fine and it's never going to change. Things evolve and you need to be aware of that. Even Bitcoin with its characteristic could be attacked, could be changed. Something can happen that will make everything crumble. And if Bitcoin changes and it's not the same anymore, and it crumbles, MicroStrategy will crumble. And all proxies associated with Bitcoin will crumble. And miners will crumble. Will crumble. So if everything changes, you need to be out of that environment. But that's, how, that's why you need to be looking into it periodically and react accordingly. So if XRP changes and its characteristics get better and they're more aligned with what I want in a token, I will gladly invest in it. I have nothing against the XRP supporters, but I have something against the characteristics of the coin and what is behind XRP. And if that doesn't change, I won't invest. It's simple like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Congrats again for those who are involved in XRP. See you in the next one.